If you're looking to upgrade your skill set in 2021, there are still COVID-19 related grants, support and schemes that are still valid that can help you to upskill yourselves, re-enter the workforce and shine in our jobs when the economic upturn comes. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrew Toh and in this channel, we'll talk about ways to make work more fun and productive. So I'm gonna go through four different schemes and grants that you may qualify for. So I will talk about what they are, who they are for and how you can apply so that you can make the best use of the support that the government is giving out. The first scheme is the IBF Standards Training Scheme or the Financial Training Scheme. This program provides subsidies for training courses that are relevant for the financial industry. The Standards Training Scheme is open to any Singaporean who completes one of the covered courses while the Financial Training Schemes is more for employees of MES regulated institutions like banks, insurance firms, asset management firms, and so on and so forth. So in response to COVID-19, MAS has announced a contribution of 90 million Singapore dollars to support financial institutions and encourage them to send their employees for trainings during this downtime. The support comes in the form of subsidies for causes up to 95% off from the original price. Now, if you work for an MES regulated institution, the company may even get a training allowance grant of $15 for every training hour that you go for, including the assessment hours and, and the lecture times. And with the 95% grant, the cost can even be entirely free from the company's perspective. To be eligible for the training grant, you have to start the course by 31st of June, 2021 and complete the course by September 30th, 2021. So if you work for an MAS regulated institution like me, do check with your line manager and your HR to see whether they have already some existing arrangements for sending employees for these IBF subsidy courses. Now, as you can see on IBS website, there are many courses available and most of them are specific to the financial industry like um, anti-money laundering, compliance, but there are also many causes that are of general knowledge in nature and not specific to the financial industry, which I highly encourage you to check it out, such as the project management one by NTUC Learning Hub. Now I attended that one last week under a company sponsored program and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm gonna do a video on it next week. So if you like to stay tuned, do click subscribe so that you'll be the first to know when I release that video. So even if you're not working for an MAS regulated firm, you can still sign up for some of these really good causes. And this game is valid till the 31st of December, 2021. The good news is that the training providers will submit a grant and subsidies on your behalf. So all you need to do is just to pay the net amount. And some of these causes can are thousands of dollars and with the subsidy you practically just need to pay a few hundred dollars for it and i think this is a really good scheme because almost any singaporean can apply for it and it's nearly free and it's online so do check it out the second scheme that is still valid in 2021 is the covid 19 recovery grant the covid 19 recovery grant is for employees who have lost their jobs and were being laid off due to the pandemic and are still actively searching for jobs in order to qualify for that you have to show evidence that you're still trying to search for jobs such as screenshots of applications that you have submitted in the past few weeks and if you qualify you can get 700 dollars per month for three months which is enough for you to tide over this difficult period until you find another job Another requirement for this grant is that the property that you reside in must have an annual value of less than $21,000. Now, this is the first time that I came across this annual value thing, so I went to look it up. And basically, it means that in theory, if you were to rent out your residence, you should not be able to collect more than $21,000 a year. Now, I went to look up some statistics. Generally, if you stay in a HDB, you should be fine. You should be under the $21,000 mark. But if you stay in a, either a condominium or a landed, then you probably want to check further uh, by going to IRA's website and pay just $2.50 just to see whether the residence that you're in has an annual value of less than $21,000. So applications for this grant is open from January 18th, 2021 till the end of the year. And to apply, you basically just need to click on the link, visit the official website during office hours. The next relief fund is the COVID-19 driver relief fund. So to qualify, you have to show that you are a driver with Grab, Ride, Gojek, or Tada. I actually didn't know about Tada until I came across this grant. And if you're awarded, you may receive $20 a day. So to qualify, you need to show that you have been an active driver with these ride sharing companies for an average of 200 rides a month from October, from the 1st of October, 2020 to the end of the year 2020. So that means that you need to complete 600 trips at least. And if you qualify, the right sharing company would have automatically contacted you uh, by the 18th of January. I think this is a really meaningful fund because taxis are considered an essential service in, in an economy. Like, can you imagine if you open your Grab and there's no one 
there are no drivers on the road. So uh, I think this fund really helps to support drivers out there who are plying the roads every day just to make a living. And I'm really grateful for drivers out there uh, and even for part-time drivers because I've taken a lot of grab trips myself and I really highly appreciate the service that they're, that they're doing on the roads. And it's super convenient to get from an obscure part of Singapore to another part in 30 minutes or so when the public transport will take like one hour plus just to get there. Finally, the scheme that is still valid in 2021 is My Skills Future and its related grants. So this is a pretty big grant because it has uh, opportunities for fresh graduates and also mid-career professionals who are looking for, who have been laid off or are looking to switch careers during this time. So for fresh graduates, all you need to do is just to log on to the SkillsFuture website and look for the hashtag SGUnitedTraineeships. And these are specific schemes that my SkillsFuture has rolled out and encourage companies to hire fresh graduates during this difficult time. So to qualify for this, you need to be either a Singaporean or a PR and have graduated from a tertiary institution uh, in 2000, in either 2019 or 2020. And all of this training must commence before the 31st of March, 2021. And if you're a recent graduate, do check it out as soon as possible and I hope that you get a job. The second part of the My Skills Future package is the SG United Jobs and Skills Package. So basically, if you're not a fresh graduate and already had some experience, some years of experience in the workplace, then you probably can qualify for this one. So there are two types of this package. The first type is where you sign up for six to 12 months of training on leading skills nowadays, such as uh, digital marketing and programming, uh, conducted by educational institutions like ITE and Polytechnic. And all you need to do is just to pay a discounted fee of $500 for a six month course or $1,000 for a 12 month course. And I think it's incredibly affordable to upgrade ourselves during this downtime. The second type of the jobs and skills package is probably the more attractive one where you complete six to 12 months of training with a host company, and then you would have a job lined up with the host company after the training. And there are some really reputable host companies such as Corn Ferry, Shopee, IBM, and I think these are great companies to work for. And on top of that, you could also get a monthly allowance of $1,500 a month, which is a great deal, but I can imagine it's highly competitive. But uh, to apply, simply just go on to the My Careers Future website and look for the checkbox on the left panel and just check the jobs that have a workplace attachment. And make sure that you can commit six to 12 months for these uh, training courses. Now, I don't see any eligibility window, so I think that these jobs are still open on a rolling basis as companies apply for support from the government. So do check it out if you're still looking for a job and I wish you all the best in your application. So these are the four schemes and grants that I like to highlight in this video. And I think that these are incredibly generous and supportive grants that can help us to further our careers, whether you're impacted by COVID-19 or not, because of its wide eligibility of people in their careers from fresh graduates to mid careers. And so no matter at what point of stage in your career, I believe that you could qualify for at least one of these grants. So do check it out and take advantage of these grants in 2021 while they are still valid to further your career. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video.